we expect students to be uh, outgoing and uh, spoken. And coding is uh, also important for you. Uh, I'm not saying you need to have all of them, but if you have one or two skill in this domain, that'll be great. So this is uh, the structure of our team. So we have a postdoc and we also have a PhD student and undergrad who will contribute to the project. And also we have an uh, admin colleague to look after. From time to time, we have a colleague from the world visiting us. Just like my PhD advisor, Professor Wing Lo is uh, coming to Hong Kong and visits uh, this, uh, this first day. So our project uh, is uh, more focusing on uh, uh, in industry side because uh, uh, practical design today, uh, the world and also China, we all look into the uh, IC design. There are a lot of uh, potential in this area. So currently we are doing uh, the FPJ prototyping, uh, developing our product. And uh, in the coming few years timeline, we are extending our work in uh, the ASIC domain. So we are doing uh, planning to work out all the tip out and also the design. If you have experience in this domain, that'd be great. Please join us. So to start with uh, the research, I would like to talk about some work that we are ongoing and some work we already completed, we are going to work on as well. Um, so maybe you may not uh, pretty know much about uh, FPJ. I just uh, do a quick introduction. So the idea behind is uh, from the high level description language that you try to design your gate and then you map it into the chip. And uh, this is how we uh, are do, doing the design process. And uh, if you compare today the ASIC FPJ and CPU and GPU, uh, most of them, they are, uh, you are just uh, computing the logics. So we are putting our uh, intelligence, the design into the circuit, and then you'll be able to apply it into the real uh, applications. So the motivation and challenges, we are looking into the big problem. Okay, so we use uh, FPJ as uh, the instance to compute. Uh, as we all know, our world is becoming uh, very intelligent now. There are so many uh, IoT devices, internet of things around us in a uh, city domain, healthcare, manufacturing, in different parts of our daily life. However, one thing that we need to face is uh, the uh, security issue. How do we uh, trust the device? How do we ensure all these uh, devices uh, can be trusted? And in fact, uh, research work in this domain is uh, actually uh, still uh, very little. So we are looking into this uh, big problem and we see this is a blooming uh, area yet to be de uh, decided. Another domain, uh, a lot of people today, we are already talking about uh, AI, very important uh, applying to different areas. However, there's still a lot of we need to solve. Uh, when we talk about the uh, edge base uh, at the node level, how do you compute your AI and how do you map your uh, AI model into very tiny devices and that can infer uh, our, 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 our characteristics. So how can we make edge base uh, inference uh, feasible? That is uh, our second uh, research big problem. Uh, third one, we are talking about when the world is uh, fully connected, there are so many data you need to uh, connect and how do you uh, isolate them? So the AI plus uh, security is uh, uh, another very important area that our research team is looking at. So how do you train a model with uh, isolated data in the same time you can improve your model uh, uh, like uh, accuracy? So to start with, I will talk about the uh, work that our team, uh, I need to give credit to all the uh, outstanding PhD students in the team. So we are using a uh, RISC-5 as a platform to make it more secure uh, for different uh, applications. So when you look at uh, the, the world, uh, again, uh, you see a lot of uh, bridges uh, around the world that are always uh, related to securities. And uh, we need to use a tiny device. Uh, we need to, to know how this uh, device can be secure. If you go inside, you will see uh, in a typical way, like, uh, uh, like the ARM processor, people, they will uh, divide into trust zone and there'll be an untrusted zone. How do you find the boundary? How do you ensure all the primitive, including your uh, like uh, uh, branch prediction and all the uh, component will be secure? That is a big research area. So that's why we are team up with uh, uh, one of the best team in the world. Okay, uh, TBSI is a Tsinghua uh, Berkeley Research Institute and they have a base in Shenzhen. And this year we actually have a one PhD graduate and postdoc will be joining TBSI uh, later this year. And we also have uh, two uh, students who, who complete the internship there. So this is uh, Professor David Patterson. We are uh, actively collaborating. 
Uh, if you look inside, what we are actually doing is uh, we try to modify the uh, microarchitecture. So we are looking into the tiny component in the branch level in all these uh, different stages. And uh, we are also creating our custom instructions to make uh, the whole processor uh, at the, at the uh, ground level. So basically you need to come up with, uh, uh, we, we work on uh, the component level, we work on the compiler level, we work on the uh, like uh, uh, machine code level as well. Uh, by the way, the core that we call ourselves is called the uh, s risk 5 So we could make it uh, the secure risk 5 core. And when we talk about uh, the level of uh, detail, we're looking into the uh, uh, like a gate level. So that's why uh, the first thing, when you talk about something we need to trust, uh, we always talk about the key. How do you come up with the key? And that's why uh, we use, uh, uh, I think you may learn it, uh, it's a ring oscillator. So we connect uh, multiple uh, not gate and then we kind of get the glitches and we find the uh, uh, randomness and we connect all these uh, to become the key. So that's why we need to really study the uh, physical behavior of the circuit level. And then uh, we try to come up with uh, our own IP intellectual properties. For the details, you can refer to our published paper on our website and then you can know more about our details. At the application level side, so uh, we take a uh, LoRa, uh, long range uh, Wi-Fi as one example. So that's why uh, if you look at uh, the detail here, you'll find out we actually have the FPJ platform, we have the RISC-5 core, and then we add our secure component, and then we connect the whole uh, stack and with the application. It's not just a one, one meg work, it's a, a whole team's effort at the cryptography level, at the architecture level, at the protocol level. So this is what we are looking into the research problems. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, coding, so this is a typical uh, C code, okay? And then you'll find out you can actually uh, compute uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, this uh, component level. And this is uh, the other one, we look into the assembly code level. So that means uh, we need a lot of good coding skills. Um, Apart from the software level, we also develop our board level. So this is uh, the typical CTU board. Uh, we have our own FPJ board. Uh, we, we design all the components. And uh, this is uh, the LoLa, the, the antenna. You will find there's a small antenna here. This is the board that we are trying to connect and you need to uh, compare a lot of uh, uh, details. Uh, we also are uh, actively promoting our research work, just like uh, last year, so we joined this event uh, with TBSI with uh, David Patterson and a lot of international researcher to present our research uh, uh, outcome. And uh, in particular, we empower our uh, uh, member to present and share. So every uh, member in the team will be able to present their work. So this is uh, Dr. Liu Yao, and uh, he also uh, joined this uh, Resurve Open Source Forum uh, early this year. And he's the one who will be joining uh, the TBSI uh, this year. Second one I want to highlight, uh, we also uh, talked to Lee Kai Fu last week. CTU has uh, this uh, Tech 300, we uh, and, and empower our, our student to uh, start their business. So we were talking about our AI component with uh, Dr. Lee, and he's very interested. He said, uh, if our project go to start, he'll be happy to look into and invest. So this is uh, what we do. So we try to do the binary uh, CNN. So the idea behind is uh, uh, when we have a model, AI model, so the activation function and also the, the weight, how do you quantize the data into minimal bit? And at the same time, you can actually uh, get a good model. So this is uh, the technique that we are presenting. You can see this is a 32-bit uh, data and then we, we actually generate very low bit, one or two bit uh, activation function for the next level. Um, as mentioned, our team work on the hardware. So that's why at the software level, we train our model. And then at the hardware level, we develop our, our component and that can be deployed into the uh, uh, devices. So that's why, as you can see, uh, as compared to the full precision 32-bit, our work with uh, uh, the weight is one bit, uh, the activation is two bit. We are still uh, compared with a different model. Our uh, accuracy is uh, still fairly high. Due to the time, uh, I will skip this part. So I think uh, I will just uh, let you know, this is uh, the work we are doing is uh, about the quantization. This is uh, actually very interesting work. And then we compare our work uh, using FPGA uh, with a GPU and also CPU. And we still get a pretty good result uh, compared to uh, all these uh, FPGA, uh, I mean, GPU and uh, uh, CPU work. 
So one more work I would like to share is about the uh, efficient pruning. So as you can see in the AI uh, model, there'll be a lot of no, and how do you actually uh, condense your model? Eventually your AI model can fit into all these uh, AI to ALT devices. So the technique that we use is, uh, uh, is this, okay? So we actually are modifying uh, your computations and then we actually create a new variable uh, in the AI model and this, parameter will be also part of the training parameter and eventually we'll be able to prune out a lot of uh, details. So that's why if you can see the work that we are doing uh, at different level, like uh, the uh, connector layer and also the convolution layer, we'll be able to uh, reduce. You can see the model remaining is actually reduced a lot. So that go back to our initial work. We want to fit our model in the ALT domain. And again, we compare with uh, the state of the art, okay? All right, to look further, I would like to mention that uh, the, the work that we're looking into is uh, what we call the edge-based uh, inference hardware uh, aware uh, design. So that's why if you look at the uh, design, uh, we have uh, different like uh, configurations and also the hardware you can uh, prune it to make it more compact. And also the data that you need to represent, you can use a very low bit rate to represent from 32 bit to two bit. And we eventually we create our own hardware component. And we believe this is a very important area. If you're interested about uh, like a security uh, AI domain hardware, I believe uh, Kales, uh, our research team will be one of your choices. And I think you make a good choice to choose a CTO because we do have a faculty member for many uh, domains. Finally, we believe uh, the max precision uh, is not just uh, two bit or six bit. It really depends on the level of detail. How do you come up with uh, the right precision level for your model? So that's why today in hospital setting, you, as you can see, the data will be isolated. So how can you break the barrier and the data can be transferred and you come back to our original questions? How do you, uh, how do you put security into your uh, training and design? I noticed I only have one or two minutes remaining, so I'll go faster. In Hong Kong, um, as appointed by the uh, press, uh, uh, the the key person, uh, President Xi, and uh, we need to be a leading uh, research hub in the world. Hong Kong government already injected uh, this uh, funding in Hong Kong, so I'm part of uh, this uh, in Hong Kong team, focusing on the FPJ and ASIC design for a lot of uh, AI hardware. And uh, our students also actively uh, visiting a different part of the world. Just like this year, we actually have uh, two students visiting, going out to Boston U and USC, but due to COVID-19, the trip for six months are not uh, unable to carry out. However, I encourage all our members to go abroad to, to, to know what's available. And um, more importantly, we believe that um, student, your success uh, can be reflected by the award that you're going to get. So this is uh, just uh, some highlight from our team member, including the Huawei uh, IC competitions and uh, the National Innovation Award. And we believe uh, this is uh, something you can get from Hong Kong. And uh, we also have a uh, work with uh, colleagues within the uh, city. This is a research project. We use FPJ to work on uh, those uh, mouse uh, projects. So this is uh, pretty cool. I will finish off now, okay? So again, uh, we also have a research team in Hong Kong actively engaging with an uh, industry in Huawei in Hong Kong. And uh, finally, this is, I think is my last line. I believe I want to share. Um, this is uh, the comment from our team member. So if you want to join the best crypto team in Hong Kong, come and join us. Uh, we focus on learning, research and socialization. We support each other. So we wish you all uh, best of luck with your PhD fellowship and also applications. Um, I guess I will just leave it to the end. Finally, I want to make a note that uh, all our students in their first year are able to pass their qualified exam. And if you are interested to talk to me further, this is my uh, WeChat QR code. You can scan the code and uh, talk to me further. That's all for, to, for me. Thanks a lot, Isha. Sorry, I overrun one minute. It's okay, Ray. Could you please, uh, maybe you can ask some, uh, wait for several minutes for the question because I have to check the WS. Oh, okay. That'll be great. It's still then. If you have any questions, do let me know. Yeah, so this is uh, the uh, the paper that usually we publish in different circles. And uh, 
And we also actively work with uh, different industry partners. Okay, like we set up the uh, uh, signing lab in Hong Kong. Uh, again, I put it here. So feel free to ask any questions. If you uh, have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad I, I still have a few minutes. Yeah, so uh, did I make my talk clear? So I hope uh, this will uh, motivate you to get ready for your study in Hong Kong. Uh, this is a photo that we just had uh, like a sushi buffet last week with uh, our students. So Hong Kong, the COVID-19 is uh, it's good. Yeah, we, we don't need to wear masks uh, when we're eating. Uh. And this is a photo that we have our research team meeting in the lab, yes. So students are pretty quiet, no questions. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, I saw a lot of students choosing you as a potential supervisor. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad to hear this. Mm, 